Hi, this is Mick. This is a uh, tutorial on how to set up your A0, your rotary zero. The rotary zero is on the center line of your um, A axis. What I did, my setup the way I got it now, is here is uh, the center line of my chuck. You can see the jaws. I have a half inch straight fluted bit. I am just touching the side of my chuck. My, I know my chuck diameter. I know my bit diameter. Um, so I'll show you from the, the other side, the rear side, then you get a better view. Okay, I mean a half inch bit. I'm just rotating it by hand. You can see there's a gap between um, between the bit and the side of my chuck. I have gone past center with the bit. As I said, I like to use a, a half inch straight fluted bit. The reason why is you can see a gap between the edge of the bit and the chuck. And when I rotate it, I am just touching it. You can see there's no light there. So I have my X value with the half inch bit to the side of my chuck. I wrote that down. So what I will do next is jog the router forward. Make sure I'm not touching my uh, chuck. Jog it forward. Move across half an inch. I mean half the diameter of the bit then move it across half the diameter of the chuck and that will put me in my x-axis directly on center okay okay back again so i knew my x value my diameter bit and my chuck value so i moved the um, tool forward I added half the diameter of the bit, I added half the diameter of the chuck. Um, if I come around the side here, so what I'm going to do next is lift the bit up, jog it very carefully back, and lower it down uh, dead center, top dead center, on the chuck. Okay. So. What I've done now is I have, um, as before, I got my X center. Now what I've done now is I jogged the bit until the tip of the bit is just touching the top. And I will record that value. Then I will show you what I do to find my center. Okay, so there is uh, the center of my bit is on the center of my A axis for my rotary. So just to recap, I touch the side of the chuck very, very carefully. I making sure that I was past the center line of my chuck. I got the value for my X to the far side of the chuck jogged it forward in the direction it is now, moved it across half the diameter of the bit, moved it across half the diameter of the chuck. That way I got the center line vertically for my x-axis. I then jogged it up on top of the chuck, jogged it backwards so the uh, cutting edge at the bottom was touching the top of the chuck. Then I jogged it forward, moved it down half the diameter of the chuck. So I'll show you the information I got. Hey, it's Mick. So this is the tail end, the tail stock. I jogged my bit down, I adjusted my tail stock. So it's um, accurate. Actually, this was just, a, just to show you a, a way of doing it, the way I do it is I set a centering laser um, 
in in my chuck and I shoot the laser down the length of the bed of the of the of the lathe and that way I know it's perfectly lined up but that's just how I do it if you don't have a laser you could put a uh, a v-bit in jog it down the other end tail stock adjust your tail stock in um, in horizontal and vertical position till it lines up okay I hope this helps thanks bye